Hello once again everyone, Brett back out to do scale modeling with another sprue review. This time Tacom has released another limited edition set. The M46 Patton and the quarter ton utility truck. Together as one. Not much in the way of box art. All around as you can see. Not a toy, cement paint not included. For you to assemble, intended for collectors age 14 and above. Kit 2117X. As you can see, not open yet because it's not what I do. Uh, lost my knife, give me a second. Has everyone been doing good, I hope? Keeping the hobby going? Contrary to popular opinion as someone who sells hobby stuff, the hobby is not dying. It's kind of thriving. We'll be interested to see what happens when everybody gets off a of lockdown now. Which hopefully will be soon. So, what's in the box? Sprues. Lots and lots of sprues. I'm guessing this is a track jig. Let's see if I can get these separated by deep. 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 Slide. Start with the Jeep, so there's all the tank parts out of the way, instructions out of the way. Zoom in a little bit, and we have a Jeep chassis. And interior tub. It looks quite nice. Feels nice. It's got some cleanup on the bottom you'll need to do, as you can see. Copyright information and ejector pins all over the bottom. If you can see the bottom, you want to clean that up. But the tub looks nice. Sorry, I had a light off. Tub looks nice, clean, ready to assemble. And I think we got self sealing bags. The last few kits I opened up staples. The staples hurt my head. <clears throat> Alright. As you can see, classic Jeep front end. I can't call it a Jeep for copyright reasons, but this sprue has got some amazing detail. Tiny little parts. Okay, so let's start with the negative. If you're going to open the hood, there are ejector pin marks on the inside you need to clean up, and since this has an engine, you'll probably want to open the hood. Side molding on these parts here, and you can see how delicate they are. The grill's wide open. The framing for the glass. The um, fan shroud. Instrument panel details. 
And then, like I said, extremely fine, tiny parts. There's exhaust, there's the actual radiator, and the headlight shrouds. And you can see just how small these parts are. So, let's go right back in the bag. And we got another one. This has got the engine on it. This may actually be for the tank. Hold on. Oh, we're going to open it as if it's for the Jeep. It's for the tank. We'll look at it later. I don't know, since I haven't looked at it, if the tank is full interior. There's a gun for the Jeep. Transmission. Shovels, axes, maybe it's a combination of parts for both. Jerry cans. Wonderful engine detail. Wonderful tool detail. So, there's your engine block. Fan belt, transfer case, your gun with your hollowed out barrel, more engine parts, handles, jerry cans need to be assembled, beautifully detailed firewall, more parts for the engine, the steering linkage, steering column. Turn it over. You've got clean up the lead on the back of the firewall. Beautiful detail on this side of the tools as well. So that's all looking good. This is the last Jeep sprue with the seats, the tires. <clears throat> Leaf springs. Tires are not really in halves, you got inserts to put inside of them. These springs look good, seats look good. Cushions have nice texture. You've got a rifle, two rifles, one in a holder, one not. Looks like you got your drum brakes right there. Steering wheel, very finely detailed. Looks like you even got shock absorbers. So the detail on the Jeep by itself is outstanding. Two axles, wheel halves, no seam line on the wheels, and your leaf springs. There's your rifles. Flip it over. Alright, this looks like the frame of the Jeep, nicely bubble wrapped. I'm looking at it close up and I see no ejector pin marks anywhere. Just looks like a beautiful frame, well constructed. 
level for a Jeep. Nice touch. And the glass for the Jeep. It's like two different ones for some reason. One with wipers, one without. But extremely clear as flat glass would be. And the headlights are there, of course. All right. So we dig into the tank. Let's do. Start with the hull. It's going to be a long video. Beautiful detail. It's got the casting marks on it. Wonderfully nice, crisp detail. Here's your your uh, heck. My brain I thought just died, but anyway, there's Tanko Tacom's year was made kit number inside, which I like. I said I don't think this has interior detail, but we will find out. And the turret. Wonderful cast texture. Like, beautiful. And it looks like it's also got casting numbers on it. As you can see all around. Marvelous. And mallets. And the other part of the turret. Screw R. Mallet covers and some more great casting texture. So, mallet covers, all right, so many parts. with the rest of the whole detail. Side skirts, boxes, lots of cool venting, more nice cast texture on the front. Look at the depth of that. Nice wash in there. It'll make it look good. You have these great big injection port ejector pins. You're going to have to break off. Maybe. And ejector pin marks inside the side skirts. Don't know if you see them or not. And we're just going to start going through these. So here's the tools for the tank. Shovels, the axes. Looks like the jack. 
gun barrel, tow hooks, hatch, again nice casting texture. So we can get that in the light. Racks and shovels. There's your gun. Obviously, the gun. It's not going to have a hollowed out barrel. The inside of this hatch looks good. A couple of ejector pin marks. You leave it open, you'll need to clean up. Here's your gun. Looks like your spare tracks. 50 cal. Matlet. So this is two piece, this is one piece. Some cast texture on there might look really nice. Tracks look nice, there's a couple more hatches. So this one, if it is a barrel, is a seam mark going, burr line going right down the side right there. It'll need to be cleaned up. Barrel looks good. Hatches look good. You know, Tekken does a really good job with all this stuff. Here's the 50 cal. There's a cast texture on there. Of delicate parts. The other side of the gun is I just saw it. Where did I see it? Right here. So the two halves of the gun you go the other side on. There's that one. It's got some small drive wheels, some looks like cabling, more hatches with ejector pin marks inside, side skirts, transmission, lights, tow hooks. Actually, these are look like they're hollowed out for the end of the cable. It's probably in here somewhere. Just right how thin those are. Be careful removing them because they're extremely flexible. Good deal of tail and transmission. Side skirts. <clears throat> All right. Here, I'm going to take it out, but you've got Lincoln Link tracks, two sprues, typical beautiful tacking tracks. And like I said, the jig for putting them together. Again, the drive wheels. I'm not going to take them out, the road wheels, but they're beautifully done. 
and looking good all around. And this is a matching screw. So there's two of these, which contain drive sprockets and a bunch of very small, looks like handles, hooks, jerry cans, um, maybe it's a muffler. Lots of very small parts. I mean, very small parts. I think this is where the hole was molded into it. You can see the big cutout right there. The lower hole. Obviously, you're going to take these off to put the cans together. So, as I said, two of those. The clear parts for it. Again, very clear. Now we've got the book. In the bits. Actually, two books in the bits. Here's the cable I was talking about that goes into those cable hooks. Actually, there's more details on here than I thought there'd be. Usually, the armor doesn't have very many. Your basic, basic every tank decals. And then in this bag, you've got some specialty platoon markings, individual tank markings. They look very nice. They're done by Tacom. Obviously, there's a, several different schemes you're going to be able to do. Eyes, the fangs, everything. And a little bit of photo etch. Probably for the tank. And then two books. For a utility truck. Patent tank. We'll start with this one, which folds out like this. Long ways. So, color call out by Ming Jimenez. Sprue map. Step one, you're working on the suspension. Tires. Of course, you do those off till it's painted. Three and four, you start working on the engine. Flip it up. Five, six, seven. Put the engine in. Working on the interior tub. Mounting the interior tub and all of its parts. That was nine. Flip it over. Ten. Finish putting everything together. That's ten through twelve. Thirteen and fourteen. Seats going in. So apparently you can have wipers on, or you can use the one with the wipers built in. That's why there's two. And then finishing up, mounting the gun, jerry can, spare tire. Color call outs, all green. Oh, that's why we have two sets of decals. One's for the Jeep, one's for the tank. There we go. First set I showed just for the Jeep, second set, tank. There you have it. This is like laminated rubbery type paper too. And now, zoom out for this one, it's bigger. 
We're going to work on the patent instructions. So again, color callouts, sprue map, You start with the lower hull, of course. All the gear parts. And you use those jigs to line up everything. Okay. Once they're aligned, you do the other side. Same thing. Wheels, which you're probably going to want to put on last. And there's your tank sprue and the two jigs, and how you put it together. It goes like that. Snap together on the bottom. Again, probably after you paint the main body, but that's your call. Are your tools going on? Sorry, I can't see that. Are your tools going on? Attaching the upper hull to the lower hull. Side skirts. And side skirts more and all the stuff that's going on in the side skirts. Upper fenders, sorry, side skirts are the smaller ones here. We're gonna work on the turret, which is gonna have spare track links, another gun, hatches, open or close. Your call, no detail inside, so again, your call. Gun going on again after painting, I would think. You have an option of which one of these to use for the mallet. So, same here, you have an option of which barrel to use, depending on which mallet you use. This one, this is the solid one we talked about. This one is the halves we talked about. And putting the turret on the hull, and you're done. Paint scheme one, angry key. Two different versions of it, it looks like. More paint schemes. This one also is an angry kitty, just not quite as angry. This one's got a little blue behind the angry kitty. These two, typical stars, no kitties. And finally, these two. So what's it? Two, four, six. Eight different schemes, nine different schemes. I didn't see this one. You can do a little tank battalion, third infantry, Korea, February. A little winter camo going on there. And some of the kits they've got. This one, this one. Got both of those. And that's it. So, long review, I know. Got your patent. Got your quarter ton utility vehicle all together in one kit. Make a nice little Curry War diorama. Make it, make it beautiful. Make yourself happy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your hobby.